Let's talk about Bitcoin. Here's what happened with Bitcoin. Visa will offer a credit card that rewards purchases in Bitcoin rather than cash or airline miles in early 2021. Interesting. Visa. That is a level of credibility for Bitcoin like never before. Mm -hmm. For Visa to say, I'm going to reward purchases in Bitcoin? Yep. We're excited to add credit cards to our suite of products and expand Bitcoin's accessibility to a broader set of consumers, Zach Prince said, the CEO. Uh, this card makes it simple and risk-free for people to gain or increase exposure to new asset classes without changing their spending or investing habits. Visa will launch a credit card that rewards users in Bitcoin instead of traditional cash air miles in 2021. The card comes out with an annual fee of $200. Users will receive 1.5% of their purchases back in Bitcoin and bonus of $250 in world's most po uh, popular digital currency after spending $3,000 or more within the first three months. You know, what does this mean for Bitcoin? Uh, let me jump in real quick. I know this is your wheelhouse. I'll take my quick perspective and turn it over to you guys. I, I have a phrase, stay in your lane. Yeah. I like to use that phrase, so I'm not going to try to be an expert in Bitcoin. But I'll tell you the one thing that caught my eye on this thing. I think there's a lot of people out there, guys, and Adam, you probably know this, that want to act like they think they know about Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. And I think Visa is capitalizing on these people because I think they think it's cool. It's going to impress people. Yeah, I got yeah. the credit card with Bitcoin. And it's all about that $200 yearly fee. If you start doing the math on $200 times 100,000 or 300,000 people that want that card because they think they're, they're understanding cryptocurrency and they're into the Bitcoin game, it's a lot of money for Visa. That's my thought. Yeah, good point. Um, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people, especially when I started my show, um, to Tom's point, well, you know, they just want to be cool because they got Bitcoin. So I'll ask them, do you have a 401k? Nope. You know, are you invested in the stock market? Nope. Do you hold any gold or any, do you own any assets? Nope. Do you have Bitcoin? Hell yeah, I got some Bitcoin. It's like, I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure why you gave them a country accent, but they said <laughs> they had Bitcoin. And, you know, I said this before, I'll say it again. If you want to throw five, ten, you know, five, ten, even 20% of your net worth into Bitcoin, if you're in a, you know, if your asset, Cool. Give it a shot. That should not be 100% of your foundation. However, I will say, we, where we, where, what have we seen in Bitcoin this year? It was at rocket, you know, um, at bottom lows at 9,000 earlier this year. Now it's up to 19,000 and change. It's approaching 20,000, which is, I think it reached in, you know, December mm -hmm. of 2017. Yeah. Uh, it's, if anything is happening with Bitcoin, it's being legitimized when Visa comes out and does this. PayPal a few months ago said that it would buy, hold, sell Bitcoin now. So I think for people that um, thought the death of Bitcoin was coming, I think they were wrong. However, I, you know, there's still people think that Bitcoin is the end all be all. I'm not in that camp yet. So but it's looking good for Bitcoin is my point. I think this is more than looking good for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. I think this is a. a this is Visa. Mm -hmm. who Step is into the like, mainstream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? For Visa to say we're going to pay in Bitcoin, if anybody out there is a Bitcoin person, I would be screaming this off the top of my lungs. They're mm -hmm. probably screaming. Oh, saying, they are. I'm kidding me. Bitcoin's yeah. going to be going to $50,000. It's going to go to $100,000. you got to get in. you got to you know, all that stuff that they're going to be talking about. Trivia question for you. Go for it. For both of us. Do you think Bitcoin is more likely to go to 50000 or zero? Oh, 50000 It ain't going to zero. Yeah, mm. it's not going to. But the alternative is you should hey. ask the question a different way. Okay. Is it more likely go to fifty thousand or five thousand? That's a different well, conversation. I would say five thousand yeah. at that point. Can I yeah. make yeah. my? Yeah. Sure. I say zero because if I had said fifty thousand, no one would remember that. But if by some chance I get lucky and it goes to zero, people will think I'm an expert. Tom, I'm you are zero. a provocateur. Wow. You, you are, and James, you're, you're in a different provocateur today. right there. <laughs>